spinning your wheels, understanding this common English phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating English idiom that you might have heard, spinning one's wheels. This phrase is commonly used in both casual and professional settings, so understanding it can really help in grasping the nuances of the English language. Let's get rolling. The phrase, spinning one's wheels, refers to a situation where someone is putting in a lot of effort but not making any progress. It comes from the imagery of a vehicle whose wheels are turning rapidly but isn't moving forward because it's stuck or in a slippery condition. In everyday use, this idiom is applied to situations where effort is not leading to success or productive results. Understanding the origin of idioms can be really helpful in remembering them. The phrase, spinning one's wheels, likely originates from the automotive world. Imagine a car stuck in mud or snow, with its wheels spinning fast but the car not moving. This visual is a great metaphor for efforts that don't lead to progress, which is exactly what this idiom conveys. Let's see how this phrase is used in everyday conversation. 1. Work context. We've been spinning our wheels on this project for months, but we haven't made any real progress. 2. Personal goals. I've been spinning my wheels trying to learn guitar on my own. Maybe it's time to get a teacher. 3. General use. They spent hours debating but were just spinning their wheels because no decision was made. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to different contexts while keeping its core meaning. Understanding synonyms can broaden your understanding and usage of the language. Some similar phrases are, running in place, going nowhere fast, beating a dead horse. Each of these carries a similar meaning of effort without progress, but with slight variations in usage and tone. That's all about the phrase, spinning one's wheels. We hope this video helps you understand and use this idiom confidently in your conversations. Remember, learning idioms is not just about memorizing them, but also about understanding the context in which they are used. Keep practicing, and you'll be spinning your way to English proficiency in no time. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.